guys, my name is Chris John Oxnabar, but built for theme park news. And welcome to a theme park news update on the closure of a coaster funeral music. I haven't got any funeral music, sorry. Um, but this is on the closure of Halfpipe at Sarkoniemi in Sweden. We're going to be talking about today uh, why it's closing, a bit of history on the ride, some stats for those of you who don't know, and also my thoughts as to why it's in storage and why it's closing and where it could go basically, what's the future of the ride and what could go in that spot as well, so a lot to talk about today. Before we get started, like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video and now let's zoom into the video. So let's get on there with Sarka Niemi, so half pipe. This opened in 2003, manufactured by Intamin and it's set to close. Now, let's get on with some reasons then as to why it's closed. So according to uh, a local news source, uh, a Swedish news source. Basically, um, the article mentions rising maintenance costs, declining ridership, and the loudness of the ride, combined in with its proximity to residential areas, being major factors in the decision. Now, the article suggests the ride will be placed in storage while a buyer is sought, uh, which is very interesting. I'm going to be talking about why it could potentially be um, in storage and what could be. Uh, the future of that because it doesn't always mean that it'll be sold so it's something to uh, to think about here so we're going to get on about that in a little bit but here's a few stats for you for those of you who don't know this is the 30 meter model so this is the same model as half pipe at Elitch Gardens uh, and of course at Chimel on Paradise this is the first of the three 30 meter models to be removed and of course there is a, there's, still, there's still potential for it to go somewhere else there is also a 20 meter model at Don Quixote in Japan, uh, but this is sort of the more famous of the, uh, the half pipe models, if you know what I mean. So, um, so there's a real um, sense of sadness here because it's the most famous one that we know. Um, so, the, so the length of the ride is 229.7 feet. Uh, a height of 98.4 feet, a speed of 43.5 miles per hour, a two minute ride duration, and pulling 4.5 Gs. That's a lot of Gs. Uh, now, it was designed by Ing Burrow Stengel GmbH. So, uh, they're a, a, bit, a bit of a big company. Uh, they also designed uh, the roller coaster Wikingau or Werewolf at Marjolaine Kanata, which is the GCI. Uh, they were sort of the designers on it, according to Roller Coaster Database. So, uh, very interesting there. So let's talk about then the ride itself. Now I haven't actually been on this ride however I have seen some good reviews and I've seen some bad reviews. So it's a very mixed closure. Some people are sad, some people are happy. Uh, my myself, I'm gonna stay completely neutral on this. I'm kind of happy because we might see something new. I'm kind of sad because of the fact that it's getting removed. So uh, I hate to see coasters closed but that brings us on to the topic of why it could be in storage and that is because I think that either go, there's only two routes outside of storage, two, two, big two. Uh, one of them is it's going to get sold to another park, which I'm hoping it's here in the UK because I want us to try and experience a half pipe in the UK and it would be the UK's only half pipe roller coaster. So I would like to see a half pipe coaster come to the UK just for that record. Uh, where would it go? I'm not too sure to be honest. I mean, like Water Valley could get it for a cheap price and put it on the skate cart side. Comment your thoughts down below. What UK parks could buy the half pipes for Sock and Emmy if it's going in storage? So, comment down below your UK park suggestions and I'll reply to your comments. You know I do. Now, the other way out of storage, if there isn't a buyer, it's going to get scrapped. Now, that's the sort of same thing I was thinking with GeForce at Drayton Manor. Now, recently that's been put up on a ride list website. If that doesn't get sold, that's going to get the scrap. But apparently it's in the process of being sold. So, um, it is up for sale, so maybe uh, maybe it didn't get sold to whoever they were in the process of selling it to. Maybe they just pulled out at the last minute. So it's on the wide website. Someone could buy it if they want to. They could approach the part to buy it. Uh, and as soon as they buy it, bang, it gets removed. Or G-Force might get put in storage as well. Kind of like what Sarkadeli could be doing with the half pipe. So there's only two routes out of storage. You get bought or you get scrapped if you don't get a buyer. So... Either one, of the, I'm not going to predict which route it's going to go. I'd like to see it get put into a different park and hopefully it's been calls in to work with some maintenance crews and sort of get it fixed and sort of get some of the problems maintained and stuff like that and fixed, uh, ready for shipping to a new park. But if it doesn't find a buyer, then it will end up going to the scrapyard, which is a bit of a shame because I hate seeing coasters go to the scrapyard. You've got to keep your iconic coasters, no matter how bad they are or rough or loud or anything like that. 
you're going to keep your classics, aren't you? So, um, kind of sad if it does go to the scrapyard, if it eventually does go to the scrapyard. Any more news on the half pipe and the future of the coaster, I'll bring it to you here on the channel, of course, you know I will. Uh, but there we go, so thank you very much for watching this theme park news update from Sarkin Abbey. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Ghost Child, Coop, living the coaster life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day, my friends.